Um, so let's shuffle the cards, but now we do have the star, divine guidance, divine timing, alignment, uh, wish fulfillment, and we do have the six of pentacles. This is reciprocation and balance and justice and fairness and somebody being kind to you or you being kind to somebody. Um, yeah, and wishing on a star. We do have the uh, star again with the strength. Might be a Leo involved in this or an Aquarius. Or this is all your energy. Um, staying strong, being courageous, taming yourself on your best behavior. And with the star just aligning. It is the energy of ascension. So some of you actually, it is saying this love will make you um, go higher, right? Beautiful. I love this. Ten of Wands. And yet something is burdening us. We might feel responsible for something. The cause of something. We'll see. And it is burdening time. So uh, maybe this is the energy we are picking up, right? The Libra that's tired and working frontline to fight the um, COVID. Um, Libra, bottom of the deck. We do have Eight of Pentacles. This is the energy of um, learning. This is the energy of working dedicated effort ten of swords and the devil and the tower and ten of swords again swear to god what a painful moment what's going on libra i don't know is it at work eight of pentacles to the ten of swords might be uh, at work something might be actually an indication of what's happening right now in in the world right the tower moment it's actually really uh, things going down in flame around us, right? And can be an indication of the energies around you. Um, kind of painful, right? And with the devil, let me tell you, it's double the trouble. Or maybe you work in a, you know, in an environment where things are, you know, on a lockdown and in kind of trouble, first line, trying to fight uh, this. We'll see. If not, this is somebody breaking you in one million pieces, and I hope this is not the case. Because twice the Ten of Swords and the Tower, I, I don't think we have enough words in a voc vocabulary, right? To find what to kind of put the finger on what's going on. And I do hope might be the pandemic showing up here. Oh boy. Anyway, Libra, maybe you are separated from this person because of whatever is going on you know, uh, right now, can be, I'm sensing this, that is a form of obsession and attraction and sensuality with the devil, but boy, is there 20 swords in our back, Libra, right, so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. So really, this is the energy of being cautious, right? Now that we know all these um, swords, we know they can hurt, they can cut, they um, induce pain. So now that we know, how about we stay isolated? And we do not open the door and we do not answer the phone. I'm just saying, because, I mean, you know, they better keep their pain away from us. Um, Four of Cups, missed opportunity, emotions, not paying attention. What's going on, Libra? What is going on? Come on, we. I mean, we can stay in balance. I, I mean, if it's not the Libra staying in balance and on top of things and keeping, making sure that everybody justice is served and everybody had their fair share of whatever is happening in the situation, I mean, who's going to do it? A fire sign like myself, who's going to do it? Um, I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so Libra, in the past... On your side, we do have the Knight of Wands. Might be a Sagittarius involved, but can very well be an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We know Knight of Wands, um, you know, it's the action and the passion, and we do have the Four of Cups. And guess what? It, you know, Libra, the universe, and I hope you pay attention, because the universe is kind of sending a message to somebody. We have twice the Ten of Swords, we have the Tower, and now twice the Four of Cups. Ace of Swords. I know, we're going to understand something about the missed opportunity here. 
but in the past, right? And this can be very well your energy, Knight of Wands. You've been very passionate about somebody. Um, and it's a night, so it's a um, quick shift in movement, um, you know, going after what you wanted in a, in a very nightly kind of way. And then there was this, right? We are not paying attention. We are not seeing the red flags. We are not um, looking at the situation from all angles. And also we are not seeing the gift that the universe was um, giving us. And we were focusing on something right we are very passionate about something without really seeing um much of the situation because that's the energy of the four of cups so we are so focused on the three on the three cups in front of us that we are not seeing the beautiful cup right um so and here they went um uh, you know um you know, when somebody comes in quick and they just go on the other side as quick as they came, kind of. Well, this is how it is. And this is how I'm, I'm feeling it. It, it. it was. But very passionate, I know, Libra, right? You put a lot of fire in this. Now, the person you are dealing with, uh, they do have the Three of Swords, quite hurt by what happened, and the Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, you are their wish fulfillment, but then pain happened. A betrayal happened probably separation I mean twice the ten of swords with the three of swords it was um, kind of a, like a bloodbath you know <laughs> it, um, it was uh, hurting actually for both of you right a lot of pain and um, now for some of you Libra you might be dealing with somebody who um, maybe is drinking too much or the way they um, try to cope with the separation with the missed opportunity, with this betrayal of some sort that touched both of you, might be the Nine of Cups. And we know it's somebody drinking Nine of Cups, so one too many. Um, they might be. So, um, however this resonates with you, but I'm more, uh, this is how it feels. Um, and um, drowning in alcohol. This is... And of course, somebody chose to walk away. That That is exactly what happened. We do have the two of wands, crossroads for both of you, and eight of cups. Somebody walked away and then crossroads showed up. And fundamental choices had to be made with the two of wands choosing a different path. And then the destiny called and said, you know what, Libra, I have something else for you. Or maybe the person you are dealing with, they had to painfully walk away because the universe had something different for them. Um, and we have a lot of cups and we have a lot of swords and I know swords are your energy, but somehow, um, yeah. You might have met this person at work. Eight of Pentacles is the energy of working or in school or somewhere, you know, uh, in a, a public place that's the where you make money or something like that maybe um uh, you know if you own a business or something maybe that's where you met the, this person um that is an expression in french my god i feel um i'm not sure that is an equivalent in english and i'm sure because it's it comes from the bible that like um um, but that is, that is a word. Anyways, um, I hope I'll remember. If I remember, I'll put a comment under the video. But I'm, I'm sure that is an equivalent in French. And it's like when somebody comes and then all the waters of the hell are, um, you know, letting loose, kind of. And I know that is an expression, but it just slips. Um, um, anyways. And I just... And now I'm going to think about it till the end of the reading. It's like, oh, what is the expression again? That is one in French, but anyways. Um, Knight of Wands. Um, energies right now. Libra, we do have the Knight of Wands again. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and we do have the Ten of Wands. We are still burdened by this. That is an ending that happened. Twice the, the um, Two of Swords. No, <laughs> Twice the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands, it is an ending. Something is coming to an end. Um, and uh, in the same time, it's so burdening. Still, still, right? Dealing with um, energies of responsibility, 
of guilt of um, occupying your mind with work because that eight of pentacles with the ten of wands is a tremendous amount of work so that we um, you know clear our mind and I feel somehow this is about passion this is about still um, you know that fiery desire and it's kind of burdening in some way um, and it is all over your energy so they are still all over your energy Libra um, and probably this is why the boom and the pain and the um, um, and the, the obsession uh, right Libra I mean the devil it's quite um, quite an energy I'm just saying you know um, so Libra, the person you are dealing with, they do have the Wheel of Fortune. This is something about divine timing. This is something about them changing their ways. And they do have the Empress. So they see you as this abundant, um, kind, beautiful, smart um, person. This is also seeing you as the mother of their children and the father of their children, depending on the energy, right? Um, and wanting to make changes, you know, to the current situation whatever that is um this is also kind of the universe um at work in their life libra every time we see the wheel of fortune we know the wheels are turning in their favor in whatever endeavor they have um but this is also the universe having a plan for them um and i feel this is the energy of you um being burdened while they go through a transformation of, of, of some sort and the Wheel of Fortune, we know it's about up and down, up and down in cycles. And they are going through one. And here comes the devil again. Oh, Libra. We have so many repeat cards that it's uh, like not even funny. Um, so right in the middle of the reading, we have this devil. Can be a Capricorn. Can be, um, again, about obsession, about attraction, about sensuality, about wanting this person. This is being chained and naked. That's in the deck. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. Um, and I hope, well, not that I judge, but, you know, the devil and all in chains here. Maybe somebody is into kinky stuff, you know, just saying. You know, I don't think this is because it's not the overall energy. On the contrary, actually. I believe we have shadows and darkness that uh, we need to deal with, Libra, when we look at this. I mean, the tower and twice the ten of swords, it's um, a lot of shadows in this. And the devil twice again, it's a lot of shadows um, and darkness and energies that um, have to come to light. Um, and, well, somebody is making changes and on your side we have this knight of wands following us around, you know. And again, it can be a fire sign. Or simply is this, um, um, you know, um, passionate and playful kind of energy that you are in and it's kind of burdening, you know. Um, it's just crazy. Um, anyways, you might be dealing with a Capricorn. We do have the energy twice, you know, because can be the devil, can be the Capricorn, or can be both. And then you are in trouble if this is the case, you know, I'm just saying. But beautiful changes on their side and and on your side it's like you being true to yourself in your own nature true to your um you know um nature or your um emotions in regards to this person um moving on libra we do have the hangman and we do have the seven of swords we have again speaking of shadow and darkness it is following us all over the place uh, the tower is the energy of disruption, destruction, and all becomes, um, right, a smoky and uh, black, kind of. Um, Ten of Swords twice, and the Devil twice, and now we have the Seven of Swords. As it was not enough, right, we are, we are now having this energy of things slipping through your fingers, of um, things not, not being exposed 100%, something in... Um, so in the shadows of the silence, that is actually this energy of um, hidden energy or somebody um, not being true or you not being true to yourself. That is this energy coming your way where um, with the hangman, right? It's a major arcana. So we really need to change our perspective on, on something with, with um, the hangman. And we need to be smart and we need to expand our mind. In regards to a seven of swords energy that 
um, is lingering kind of around you. Now, the person you are dealing with, Libra, somebody here is manifesting. They are like the magician, right? Um, or they embody the energy of the magician. Is the energy of action. Um, it's the energy of making a move. It's the energy of alignment. As above, so below, right? Whatever is written, they start to put in their life or change their life based on. And they do have an offer for you. Ace of Pentacles. This might be the let's go out for a coffee, right? And that's the potential for um, investment, for growth. That's Ace of Pentacles. But I do love the magician because it is action time. And I also love their energy. Whoever this person is, I cheer for them in some way because they have the will of fortune. Again, the universe uh, playing a role and having a plan. And then that is manifestation. It's like, yeah, I'm going to allow the universe when... You know, I know, but I will also enable something here. And they have an offer for you, so that's good. Um, because it was a hell of a journey. Right, Libra? A hell of a journey. Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the strength. Um, so it might be a Leo you are dealing with. And we do have the hangman. It's interesting. <laughs> um... It, honestly, it's, um, I don't know if it's funny, but it's interesting in a sense that um, we have the strength. So we know it's about taming. It's about not showing uh, the true nature um, because, you know, we have to tame ourselves. There are norms and this and that, and we have to be on our best behavior. It is the energy of strength and courage, but it's an internal um, will you know, to uh, to be a certain way. <laughs> and then we have the hangman, it's, and it's the energy, please attach me to a tree so I do not do whatever I want to do, you know. <laughs> it's like some mechanics involved so that we are not doing something that we are not supposed to do, you know. No, I'm just saying. And it's for both of you, so. Um, and I wonder why. Um, because we do have the tower twice the ten of swords seven of swords so that is something and it's more on your side libra so i don't know exactly what you have to deal with and you know better um right but i feel that um it's it's kind of the energy of stillness because you still have to deal with some major bs honestly but can very well be this person um in need to you know to manage some some situations um and again you can swap energies and stuff but we do, we have somebody uh, manifesting you and then on your side is all this load of god knows what this is that we need to have a plan about we need to do something about we need to ask for help um however this applies to you but honestly on on your um energy and we, we have passionate energies combined with the most the biggest trouble ever so I don't know what passion got you into trouble, but we need to deal with this. That is something that we need to um, have a plan about. Uh, because you have one, two, three, four, five cards of trouble, six cards of trouble, and one, two, three cards of passion. And if we consider the devil also the, the side of sensuality and forbidden love and forbidden passion, well, we are so in trouble. So... Um, I would say sweet trouble, Libra. I would call it sensual trouble, but I'm not going to put that title because somebody will say this is not good. But it does look like a form of sweet trouble over here. And kind of passionate obsessions here. But things will move. Things will change. I mean, the Empress and the Magician, right? It's a beautiful energy. Coming after a load of... Um, of kicks so let's ask for some guidance Libra should we take this person back I don't know what do you say I would say they seem to have changed their ways with the Empress and the magician but again you know I do not walk in your shoes so Libra we do have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive it says your parents but can be um, this person so we can forgive them 
we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday times together so that is i don't know you are guided towards this person but again please do not put yourself in danger if uh, twice the ten of swords and ten of wands is danger um i mean right let's use our judgment here um we do have it is safe for you to love libra open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and the last one getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond deepens so you're um i don't know it's about second chances right it's about new beginnings getting to know each other it is a beginning of something and we do have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moment i don't know libra this is what i hear what do you hear how do you receive this and in terms of zodiac signs you do have sagittarius twice you do have uh leo you have pisces cancer with the hangman sometimes i i don't always but can be we do have capricorn a couple of times um and the empress is leo feminine energy and that's about it so what do you say and um let's have one surrender card why not let's see what we need to surrender and then we say goodbye we do have surrender to effortlessness so this is about staying still right can you stay still come on i throw you a challenge so stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river i know i know so Libra, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. For my, all my Libras out there going through twice the Ten of Swords, please seek some counseling. Uh, and the Tower, please. There is always somebody in your community, you know, specialized to give you a hand with this. Do not forget to go wash your hands, please, uh, more often. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.